In part one of this short series, we use the home sim to fly instrument approaches into an airport with zero visibility and zero ceilings. But what if we have to land and the nearest airport has no instrument approaches? For this challenging emergency, synthetic vision in the panel or even on a tablet might well be our salvation. AOPA even has a nice video and how this can work. But before attempting this in real life, I'm keen to get some practice in the safety of my home simulator. We're on a short cross country to the Bay Area with a couple of non-pilot friends. On autopilot, level 6,000 feet. All of a sudden, I'm feeling dizzy with a tightness in my chest, and it's getting worse. Nearest airport is King City, long and wide runway, but no instrument approaches. I make the call, we're going there. I use the iPad to set up for a straight in runway 29er. To minimize workload, I command the autopilot to descend to pattern altitude, heading for a three mile final. We enter the low hanging cloud layer. Thanks to the autopilot, I have a little time to update ATC on my needs, specifically a 911 for medical assistance. Using the heading bug, we intercept the course for final 29er and then hand fly. Now, synthetic vision becomes our window to the runway. Specifically, we try our very best to keep the flight path marker on the runway threshold. Two mile final runway two nine. The numbers finally come into view, and relative to our normal out-the-window view, it is a small window indeed, with a significantly different sight picture. I'm not expecting a nice flare, but the very poor round out points to the need for a lot more practice. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for flying with us.